Victor Lieberman's acquittal from any wrongdoing after almost 17 years of various allegations and investigations has put the Israeli political landscape in spin mode as everyone is trying to figure out what will be Lieberman's next political move. We've asked some of our trusted experts to try and put some sense to all the rumors. Dr. Heim Schein, who teaches political philosophy and is a regular contributor to the opinion section at Israel Hayom, claims that Lieberman has come out of the whole affair a hero in the eyes of the public. People feel that uh, after 17 years of investigation, if he was acquitted at the court, uh, people feel that the, the Israeli uh, Ministry of Justice and the police run after him. And therefore, many Israelis think that uh, he was a kind of a hero because after 17 years he became clean. Until now, the disagreement was between uh, the minister uh, Naftali Bennett and uh, Tsipi uh, Livni, who is negotiating with the Palestinians. Now I feel that the fight will be between Avigdor Lieberman and Tsipi Livni. And I think that uh, Avigdor Lieberman is a better warrior than anybody else. Avigdor Lieberman understands that to be the Israeli Prime Minister, it's the only way to do it is through the Likud. That one day or one way or another way, I'm sure that he will be joined the Likud and there will be a combat about the leadership of the Likud party. Dr. Jonathan Reinhold of the Begin Sadat Center at Bar Ilan University has no doubt that Lieberman's endgame is becoming Prime Minister of Israel. In the short term, uh the foreign minister will be weaker. He is part of a larger party, the Likud, where he doesn't have that many supporters. The public are not particularly excited by him, the broader public. And Netanyahu is far and away the most popular leader in Israel. There's no one to challenge him to be prime minister. However, moving forward, uh, a very in smart politician like Avigdor Lieberman will seek to build up his support because in the long run, there's no doubt that he his objective is to be Prime Minister. Well, in order to have a chance of being Prime Minister, he would need to move from within the confines of his party, Yisrael Beitenu. Yisrael Beitenu's base is mainly uh, Israelis of Russian extraction or um, ideologically secular right-wingers. And that is not a big enough base to become the largest party and to become Prime Minister of Israel to form a coalition. So to do that, he may well have to, at some stage, try and become head of the Likud. And he would have to uh, sit, put the emphasis on uh, his pragmatism in order to gain some support or at least legitimacy from the center of the Israeli political spectrum. Otherwise, it will be very difficult for him to form a government. Professor Yossi Shein, who teaches international affairs at Georgetown University, explains that Lieberman is just one example of the changing landscape of how politicians are treated by modern society. The politicians are under scrutiny. The very essence of politics is being sort of like uh, criminalized in some ways. And so there are lots of issues here pertaining to the legality of the system and the questions of ethics. How much ethics in politics or suspicion can be brought to bear on the life of a politician. It's part and parcel of the discussion on morality in society, which deviates from general issues to the most, to the most I would call, common, lowest common denominator. It's about debunking the political system. And it's about, of course, the scrutiny, as you said, of politicians by everybody, including the media, which is in what, in India, they call it got you media, sort of like, let's say, who will get whom? This is like, uh, the, who will get the next scandal? Who will get the next corrupt? Uh, issues and of course when you have uh, the foreign minister of Israel the prime minister of Israel and others people are looking and say wow this whole system is corrupt but that's not the case the case is that there are lots of, well, you need the, the checks and balances and sometimes we deviate from the check and balances and the, the Attorney General himself indicated uh, when we start to look for corruption in places it doesn't exist we basically injured the the, the system rather than uh, enhancing it and the whole system of watchdogs is creating uh, this kind of like an, an atmosphere when many people who want to go into public service say, why do I need this? If immediately kind of like I'm going to be debunked. So one has to think very carefully where Israel is going, like many other countries in the world, with this culture that is now pervading in society. So it seems that Lieberman is not making any hasty decisions when it comes to his political future. And as of now, all options are still on the table. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson in Tel Aviv.